Hello everyone, this is Shalya Kumar again from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and I'm also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. In today's video, I'm going to be covering planning station. I have already done the videos on overview of OSCE exam and assessment station and implementation station. So if you haven't watched those, please go ahead and watch those first. I have added the links of those videos to the description of this video. So this is my fourth video in the series. So today we're going to talk about planning. So I will be uh, telling you how to write your care plan on a template quickly and also going to give you my five top tips for planning to pass this station without any problem. So please keep watching. Okay, so let's talk about planning. Planning is 14 minute station. So in 14 minutes, it's a quiet station. You don't have to verbalize anything. So it's a writing station. So in 14 minutes, you need to write two very clear individual evidence-based care plans for your patient. Uh, so, and they will be based on two nursing problems you have already identified in your assessment station, okay? So this is related to the same patient scenario you have met in assessment. So when you met them in assessment, you talked about the activities of daily living and nursing problems. So you just need to pick up two relevant nursing problems from assessment to write your care plans in planning you are given a set template so we're going to go through that template now so as on the screen now this is the front sheet so this is before your time starts so before your time start your assessor will ask you to read this front page so on the front page you have given the scenario so make sure you read that because your patient might have moved on in their journey since you met them in assessment for example your patient in assessment may be uh, was pre-op and now they had the operation and now your examiner wants you to write about post-op care plans okay so it will be the instructions will be clear they will tell you that your patient has had the surgery now please write on post-op problems so something like that could change your planning station so from assessment so make sure you're reading up-to-date information and also making sure you're still with the same patient because on in exam center they run different scenarios on the same day by mistake you could be given a wrong patient template so tell your examiner if that's the case and they will give you correct patients so it's, it's important that you check that and also it tells you that uh, the date you are going to use within care planning the time and also it's telling you clearly that you're making care plans for your patient for next 24 hours okay so that's your timing you're thinking ahead for 24 hours and in communities normally they tell you to uh, um, make your care plan for next seven days okay so that's important that you keep that time period in mind when you're planning your care so now we're going to look inside the template so inside you have three pages okay so you don't worry about it you're not writing three care plans you're still writing two care plan third page is spare just in case if you make a mistake then you can write your second care plan on the last page but otherwise you only need to do two pages okay you only need to use two pages third page is spare so let's look at uh, how we're going to write the first one okay as an example so the first uh, section is already completed for you and that is about patient details so you don't have to do anything with it that's completed the second section is about nursing problems so here you're going to write one of the important nursing problems for your patient so i'm not going to use any patient name here but you will be using your patient name because it's an individual care plan but for today's example i'm just going to simply say patient okay so let's say my patient in assessment was, uh, came in with shortness of breath due to pneumonia so my first nursing need i'm going to write about is that my patient is experiencing shortness of breath due to pneumonia as evidenced by a respiratory rate of 23 breaths per minute okay so word something very very simple don't make it complicated just write your nursing need in a very simple words okay and your next thing is about aim of care. So next section is aim of care. So aim of care is all about as a nurse, what you're trying to achieve for your patient regarding breathing for next 24 hours. So what do I want to achieve as a nurse? So it's what you want to achieve, not how, okay? So it's about, so I want to relieve shortness of breath for my patient and maintain a respiratory rate of 12 to 20 breaths per minute uh, for next 24 hours. So that's what I want to achieve. I want to achieve a normal breathing rate. 
for next 24 hours okay so write it very clearly next section is about evaluation date so this is all about how often you will come and check on your patient regarding that particular need so obviously i will write the date as today because i'm going to come back and check on my patient breathing um, uh, today and also i will I always check as two hourly at nurse rounds or sooner if my patient condition changes okay so i can add that now intervention section of your care plan so this is the main part of the care plan here you write some general points about your patient care and then some specific points related to that nursing problem so general points are normally about explain the care plan to your patient and take consent. So when you write these, write them in bullet points. Okay, so it's very, very clear to look at. Second uh, point will be monitor and record vital signs. Okay, so it will be adding the frequency as per your news or your GCS score in your assessment. Okay, third point will be that I will make sure your patient has a call bell to call for help. Fourth point, generic point can be that administer medication as prescribed and check for effectiveness in 20 in 20 to 30 minutes okay and another general point is always we've been told as nurses document all gear care given to your patient because if it's not documented it's not counted as done so my point will be document all care given to my patient okay and these are my general point i can write them in both care plans now for breathing i'm going to write some specific points now and i always say just follow a systematic approach think about is there any risk assessment regarding this problem nursing problem there isn't one for breathing but i can talk about a uh, breathing pattern so i will say assess patient breathing pattern for rate depth or use of accessory muscles uh, i can then refer my patient to a chest physiotherapist or a respiratory nurse specialist okay so re a referral to mdt is important part of care planning and then intervention i will nurse my patient so nurse patient in upright position to expand lung capacity so that could be one of my nursing intervention to help with breathing and health education is important part of care planning as well so one of my health education point could be that i demonstrate deep breathing exercises to my patient because to relieve shortness of breath or to reduce shortness of breath so you will have to add few nursing intervention uh, if there is any risk assessment then add that any referral add that and some health education point okay uh, so that's how you need to follow the structure and you should be able to complete two care plans in 14 minutes so then you will on the second page now you will pick up a second nursing problem and you will write a second care plan following the same technique okay so now i'm going to give you my five top tips my first one which is an obvious one is the writing we are not used to writing with hands anymore on the paper because we are always typing on our phones or on our computers so make sure you get back into habit of practicing your handwriting your handwriting has to be clear and legible because if your examiner can't read it they can't mark it and so that's important for passing the station second top tip is about the nursing needs now nursing needs have to be relevant to your patient scenario i can't write a pain care plan because i just i know my pain care plan and i have revised it no it has pain has to be a relevant problem for my patient on that day so whichever which two uh, two nursing problems you choose have to be the important problems for your patient on that day okay so make sure you keep that in mind third thought tip is about making corrections when we are writing quickly we are bound to make some mistakes in our writing which is fine but nmc standard says that any Corrections you make within your writing documentation in any stations uh, or anywhere in nursing that it has to retain its legibility. It means someone should be able to still read that word even if you corrected it. So the best way is, uh, you know, either you put brackets around the wrong word and put your initials on the top or you do a single strike and put your initials on the top. But no more than single strike because that would be a critical fail. Okay. Tip number four is about making sure uh, that you, whatever you write in your care plan, 
is individualized and evidence-based okay so just think is there evidence base behind this intervention i'm writing okay so don't make our own nursing intervention we need to write what is evidence-based okay tip number five is all about just making sure the time management because time is tight in this station so we need a lot of practice to make sure we can complete the station and give yourself just few seconds to double check your care plans at the end that you haven't missed anything and bonus tip is always write in bullet points it's easy for you to review and it's easy for your examiner to check and give you marks that completes the planning station hopefully you have liked this video so if you have please 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 press the like button now and press that subscribe button now because it really motivates to motivates me to keep making more videos for you for oski exam and also visit my website which is oskinurstraining.com i will soon be back with another video with another oski station until then bye for now